Hello and welcome to your pelvic symmetry practice. This practice is designed to help your pelvic joints be in optimal alignment. We are going to need a block or something you can squeeze between your knees. So gather that and then recline. Please come to your backside. You don't need the block right away. Plant your feet down with your knees bent up toward the ceiling. You can rest your arms on the ground any way you like. We're going to be practicing bridge pose. We're going to flow into and out of bridge with a breath cadence or rhythm. Exhale everything out. Let's welcome a full breath in with your pelvis resting on the ground. Then as you exhale, press your feet down, curl your tail up into a baby bridge or a medium bridge. Pause in your bridge, take an inhalation as you're ready. And then exhale, slowly lower down. So I want you to curl your tail up as you lower one vertebra down at a time, then your pelvis rests on the ground. We're inhaling here with the pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl your tail up, press your feet down, feel the strength of your hamstrings and your glutes, lift your pelvis. Then inhale in your bridge pose. And exhale to lower all the way down. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale with your pelvis resting on the ground. Then exhale, curl your tail up. Inhale with your pelvis lifted. Exhale to lower all the way down. Curl your tail up as you lower and then finally set your pelvis down. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Pause in your bridge for an inhalation. And then as you exhale, lower all the way down. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale with your pelvis resting on the ground. Exhale, curl up, baby bridge or medium bridge. Inhale with your pelvis lifted. And then exhale to slowly lower down. Now we're going to pause with the pelvis on the ground, grab your block, take the block between your knees, adjust your feet as you need. So you might need to scooch them in a little closer. Feet are planted, block is between the knees. We're going to exhale and squeeze the block. So as you're ready, take a full inhale. Then exhale, squeeze the block. Squeeze at a quarter of your capacity or maybe 50% of your capacity. You don't have to squeeze at 100%. <laughs> then inhale, release the squeeze and rock your knees just a little bit side to side. Tiny little rock. Come back to center. We're going to inhale and exhale, squeeze the block. Then inhale, release the squeeze and rock your knees from side to side. Come back to center. Exhale, squeeze the block. As you exhale, feel your abdominals gather in naturally as you're breathing all the way out. Then you'll inhale, release the squeeze, rock your knees side to side a little. Come to center. Exhale, squeeze the block. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, release the squeeze, rock a little side to side. Come to center. Exhale, squeeze. Feel your inner thighs contract as you squeeze. And then inhale, release the squeeze, remove your block, set it aside. Take the soles of your feet together with your knees wide in a bound angle or butterfly shape and then lift your knees up part way so your knees are not dropped all the way down toward the ground as far as your hips allow. You feel a little engagement in your inner thighs again here. Now plant your palms down for a little extra support. The blades of the outer edges of your feet are pressing down. If you need any cushion underneath your feet, you can grab a blanket and place it there. We're going to inhale with pelvis resting on the ground. Then exhale, press the blades of your feet down, curl your tail up into a baby or medium butterfly bridge. Keep your knees about the same height the whole time. We're going to inhale in butterfly bridge. 
Then exhale to slowly lower down, curling your tail up as you lower, and then finally setting your pelvis down. Keep your knees a little lifted. Inhale here with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl on up. Inhale in your butterfly bridge. Exhale to slowly lower down. So same cadence as the regular bridge, vinyasa. We're inhaling with pelvis resting on the ground. Exhale, curl, tail up. Feel the strength of hamstrings and glutes. Inhale in your butterfly bridge. Exhale to slowly lower down. Two more. Inhale with your pelvis resting on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Any amount of lift is welcome here. Inhale with your pelvis lifted. And exhale to lower. We have one more. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl on up. And then inhale with your pelvis lifted. Exhale to lower down. And then let's plant feet down, knees bent up toward the ceiling. We are going to repeat that whole series one more time. Exhale everything out. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl your tail up into a baby or medium bridge. Inhale in your bridge pose. And exhale to lower. Inhale with your pelvis resting on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Inhale in your bridge. And exhale to lower. We're going to continue just like this. Inhale with pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Feel hamstrings and glutes. Lift your pelvis. Then inhale in your bridge pose. Exhale to lower. We have two more like this. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Inhale here in your bridge pose. And exhale slowly lower. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Inhale with your pelvis lifted. And exhale, lower down. Hmm, we're going to take the block between knees again for the knee squeeze. Adjust your feet as you need. And then as you're ready, let's take a full breath in. Exhale, squeeze your block. Exhale everything out as you squeeze your block. Then inhale, release the squeeze. Rock your knees a little side to side. Come to center. Exhale, squeeze the block. Feel your inner thighs contract. Your abdominals gather in as you exhale. And then inhale, release that squeeze. Rock if you like a little side to side. Come back to center. Exhale and squeeze. Two more times. Inhale, release. Rock if you like. Come to center. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release your squeeze. Maybe rock. Come to center. Last time. Exhale, squeeze. Exhale everything out. Inner thighs, abdominals. And then we're going to release the squeeze. Remove your block. Take the soles of your feet together in a butterfly or bound angle shape. You're going to lift your knees up a little bit. So they're not drawn down as far as your hips allow. They're lifted up a little bit. You feel your inner thighs a little bit. Palms down on the ground. Exhale everything out. Inhale here with your pelvis resting on the ground. Then exhale, curl on up. Press the blades of your feet down. Lift into a baby or a medium butterfly bridge. Inhale with your pelvis lifted. And exhale to lower. Keep your knees about the same height the whole time. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Inhale with your pelvis lifted. 
And exhale to lower slowly down. Good, let's keep going a few more. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. And exhale, curl up. Inhale here with your pelvis lifted. And exhale to lower. Inhale here with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up into butterfly bridge. Inhale here. And exhale to lower all the way down. One more. Inhale with your pelvis on the ground. Exhale, curl up. Inhale here. And exhale to lower. Now please plant your feet down, knees bent up toward the ceiling in constructive rest position, or you can turn your toes toward one another and rest your knees together. Let's pause here. You can adjust your body any other way you need. We're going to bring attention to the movement of the pelvic floor as we breathe. There's no intentional effort needed for pelvic breath. Rather, we're bringing awareness to the movement of the muscles at the base of the pelvic bowl. That happens naturally when we take a deep breath. Exhale everything out. Bring your attention to your pelvic bowl. As you inhale, imagine your pelvic bowl expands like your rib cage expands. Then as you exhale, imagine your pelvic bowl hugs inward like your rib cage hugs inward. As you inhale, your pelvic bowl expands. The muscles at the base of your pelvic bowl, they lengthen. Your pelvic bowl deepens. Then as you exhale, the muscles at the base of your pelvic bowl shorten and dome up toward your abdomen as your whole pelvis hugs inward. As you inhale, imagine your pelvic bowl expand. Imagine or feel your pelvic bowl deepen. As you exhale, your pelvic floor muscles lift back up towards your abdomen as your pelvic bowl hugs inward. Continue a couple more like this. Inhale, breathe deeply so you might imagine or feel the base of your pelvic bowl lengthen, deepen towards your legs, towards your heels. Then as you exhale, pelvic floor muscles lift back up toward your abdomen as your whole pelvic girdle hugs inward. Inhale, your pelvic bowl expands and deepens. Deep, deep breath in. Exhale, everything out. Follow your exhale all the way to its end. Notice your experience after practice. And you're welcome to rest here if you'd like. You're welcome to come into any position that feels restful. If you are ready to transition, you may roll over to one side and press on up. Thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs>